tell us what happened. Take us uh, to that night. What time was it? What were you doing there? What was going on? Um, so me and my best friend, Brennan, we were actually out um, at a lounge. Um, and we had already went to a Waffle House before that. Um, we went to um, Waffle House closer to the lounge. Um, that Waffle House was packed. So we decided to go to another Waffle House. This was about, um, about 317. Um, at that time, we walked into the Waffle House and uh, we actually saw the shooter, but we didn't think anything of it. Um, so when we walked in, uh, we saw the cook. The cook was cooking and washing dishes. And then one of the cooks actually went on break. He said he was gonna have a cigarette and he'll be right back. Um, we thought the dishes crashed to the ground, but it was actually gunshots. And after gunshots started, it was kind of a lot of chaos. And then at what point did you realize that it was gunshot, not dishes? Um, when the workers started to disperse and try to take cover, and then I looked back and I saw a gentleman right there at the entrance and he was uh, no longer alive. You saw someone on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so then what do you do? Um, after that, uh, the glass was broke from another shot and... Because he was shooting from outside? Yes. Um, the glass was broke from another shot and pretty much I uh, jumped from the tabletops, uh, the counter, and I jumped to the entrance of the bathroom hallway. So, okay, so at what point did you make this decision to charge the shooter? Um, so, at one point in time, the shooter panned back to the right, and he, uh, he shot to the right, and he shot through the glass, and one of the bullets actually grazed my right arm um, near my elbow. And then uh, after that, I, I just remember becoming totally relaxed, and I just said I need to keep an eye on him, and I looked through the window, and he, was, he had the barrel pointed down, and then I saw him reloading, so... Um, and you knew you were shot at that point? Not really, it was, it's really kind of a blur. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see him reloading, mm -hmm. and you think that's my chance to go at him? Yeah, I had a voice in my head said, do it now, do it now, and that's, I took the opportunity. But it was just it. you by yourself. It wasn't like anybody with you saying, let's do this. It was just you saying, I'm gonna do this. Yes, ma'am. So you go and grab the gun, didn't you, you burned your hand because it was so hot from firing that you burned your hand when you grabbed it, right? Yeah, so I received uh, second degree Ooh, burns yeah, on my right hand. And then um, I got a couple other scrapes and bruises, but. So, so you tossed the gun, um, you threw it over the counter or something like that, and then you had him on the ground? Um, so I don't, I'm pretty sure we were never on the ground. I think we were just kind of tussling and wrestling for the gun. And then once I got it, I threw it over the countertop. And then he ran. Um, I pushed him and myself outside because I wanted to get to safety and I knew safety was outside. Right. Wow. You're a brave man. You're a really <laughs> brave man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean... Your friend is here with you today? That was uh, with you? Yeah, uh, Brennan, he is here. Mm -hmm. uh, I can never get rid of him now. Oh. No, you can't. <laughs> And so when people say you're a hero, um, how, how does that sound to you? So the whole hero thing is, I don't have a problem with it. It's just that if you're in that same situation, I want you to know that a regular guy did it, and I want you to emulate that same thing and know you had that fire inside yourself. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right. So you started raising money for the people that were killed. There were four people that died from this. And you started, so not only does he step in and do this, but he starts a GoFundMe um, for, to pay for funerals for the people that were shot. And uh, for the families, you raised $215,000. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -oh. I mean, so... So he does this and, and raises money for the families and for funerals, and then some people decided to start a GoFundMe for you to raise money for you and your daughter, and so over 6,000 strangers have chipped in, and now I think it's $205,000 that they've raised for you. And Our friends at Shutterfly uh, were inspired by you, and they want to add twenty thousand dollars to that GoFundMe. Thank you. That this is um, 
By the way, I should mention that the journalist Yashar, Yashar Ali mm -hmm. uh, started this for you, and so it brings uh, the total to $225,000. So today, we're giving you that check for $225,000. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, the, uh, the campaigns are ongoing, so go to our website to learn how you can donate.